All right, guys, today we're going to mess with the website we made yesterday with the four pictures. So I've got my website in, as simple a one as possible, uh, my four pictures. I'm going to go to the folder I have it in, right click. I'm going to open with uh, TextPad. So it's just a little prettier. So notice my HTML statements, body tags, and the closing ones. And I have my four pictures. Remember, you always want the website in the same folder as your pictures because your website will look in its immediate surroundings for it. Now looking at our web page, you notice all my pictures are of a different size. So if I wanted to clean this up a bit, easiest way is to do it through CSS. In the old days, we might have done something cheap and easy way, something like height equals 200, width equals 200, but we're not going to do that. That's it. It's not that useful. In the short term it is. It's kind of like taking a gal to McDonald's for a date. It may seem like a good idea, but it isn't. So to fix that, we put on our head tag, close it off, put in our style tag, put in our closing one. Remember to always put your closing one in when you put an opening one in. And we're going to do IMG our curly braces and then we just pick a size so to do that we can do height colon 200 pixels 200 px width uh, we'll make it a little wider colon 300 pick at px we'll save it and refresh our web page and hope it works. So if I go over my web page, hit F5 to refresh, there we go. Now they didn't align themselves on purpose, I just don't have any line breaks. If I wanted a line break, I could put a BR here. And later we'll be doing all our layout with CSS. So I refresh that. That's why they're all that way. If you weren't sure exactly how high you wanted it to be, you can, you can also use, um, or if you didn't know the exact pixel amount, you could do something like this, 30%. And width is maybe 40%. And the percentage is based on a percentage of the total screen, is what it's referring to. So whether in your big monitor or small monitor, doesn't matter. And the way we see that is as I resize my picture or my web page by clicking down here and moving, it's going to stretch the pictures out. Whereas if I was using pixels, it wouldn't be variable. They would just be stuck at that picture amount. So there are some situations in the future where you might want pixels, another where you might want percentages. The end.